Hi YouTubers, my name is KBad and welcome to 60 Seconds. Now, first off I'd like to say Happy Easter. It's Christian. Gotta praise the day. Second off, I want to say I apologize for how long I have been gone. Um, I ended up getting really, really busy with work and everything, and so I didn't make YouTube a priority. And so now I'm trying to get back. I'm going to do things a little different this time, though. I realize that kind of being a little <sighs> sprastic with the games, it made it so that I was kind of a little jumpy on which games I should play. So, for the time being, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to be playing one game at a time until I'm sick of it, and then I'll start playing another game. Now, I'll still probably do some Happy Wheels and stuff like that, but for the time being, I want to play this game. And I've seen a bunch of videos on this lately. So, I'm going to do the Atomic Drill here, because, I mean, I know kind of how to play but I need to be able to know how what keys I need to push so let's see ya. there I am welcome to your atomic scavenge drill pay attention and you might just make it that's his voice hold the grab control to skip my words put every time you do the reds will start oh never mind no time to waste. Get moving and head to the marked point in front of you. Move it. Good job. There might just be hope for you yet. Just keep those legs moving. I'm sorry, can you please stop playing the instrument? You are horrible. One more time. You know the drill. Marker. Living room. Go, go, go! Got it, Sergeant. Hang it. Not bad, but you better be in a good shape. There's more where that came from. Ooh, I see the radio. Fun time's over. It's a matter of life and death now. Find your son, Timmy ASAP. Oh, ah, uh, Timmy. T Timmy? T that's wife. Ah! T Timmy! Timmy! There he is. He's on the bed. Good thing you know the layout of your house. I bet you the Reds know it too. Do, how, how do I grab? There we go. That's it. Consider taking other family members too. I'll leave the exact priorities to you. Timmy is safe, but you need to find food to keep the shelter stocked. Okay. Where is this highlighted can? Ah, there it is. Soup, an excellent choice. This can be sustained family for a day. Let's see here. Every American atomic shelter also needs a supply of water. Hunt for some bottles. I'm not being consistent with his voice, but okay. Find the highlighted bottle. Can you get out of my way? Okay. That's enough water for now, but you've got yourself a problem, Buster. You can only carry so much, and every item weighs one slot. You need to drop whatever you're carrying at the hatch before you can pick up more. Okay, I'm at the hatch. You want those supplies in your fallout shelter? Go find the sh shelter trapdoor. I'm here. I'm right in front of it. This is what keeps you, your family, and your supplies safe. It's hard to miss. Why do I have this in my house? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Timmy. <laughs> Bingo. You got yourself a small stockpile of food, water, and even little Timmy. Okay. No one knows how long you're staying down there, so you need a radio. All right. I saw the radio right here. Boop. That's it. Nothing more useful than news from the radioactive outside world. Alright, check it down there. If there's anything particular you need, we will announce it over radios or TVs. Oh. Found it. Okay, 
Checked it down there. Now drop all that equipment into the shuttle. I, I just did. That's the spirit. But here comes the hard part. Uh oh, you're going to start the timer on me, aren't you? Sometimes you get a few extra seconds before the siren sounds to scout your surroundings. But after it goes, you need to start packing. Okay. Our credibility defense warning system gives you 60 seconds to scavenge for what you need and get yourself to safety. Let's give it a try. Okay. 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 Alright, I'm ready. I'm ready, coach. I'm ready, coach. Uh, water. Uh, map. Yes. Okay, wife. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Check down there. Uh, flashlight would help. Uh, we need a gun. Because we're not American without a guns. Uh, uh, food. More food. Water. Alright, uh, hurry. Gotta, gotta, gotta dump it. Um, okay. Uh, more water. Uh, gas mask. Yes. Oh, oh. No! I don't have enough room for it. Okay, I gotta hurry. Dump it all. Dump it all. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I got that. I got the axe. Alright, we're doing good. We're doing good. Uh, uh, da da da. We need soup. Soup. Water. Uh, more soup. Ah, uh, I made it! Okay, whew. Oh. Whew. All right. You know, yeah, that's far more intense than what it ever looked like in the videos. All right. <laughs> Let's see what I managed to grab now. Ooh. Water. Yum 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 yum. Wow, we grabbed a lot of supplies. Jeez. But we didn't grab any games. Alright, let's see here. You made it to the shelter. Congratulations! But the drill is not over yet. You'll end up here with whatever and whoever you brought with you. Nothing else. You need to make the most of it. The next few days will teach you how to survive down here while the world outside burns. Explore and interact with your surroundings. You can always find out useful things about your shelter and its inhabitants. When your survival journal is not open yet or hidden. First things first, we must ration the food. And water, if you don't mind and dine yourself. Wine and dine. Not mine and dine. Wine and dine. And the folks you've brought with you. You can bet your bottom dollar none of you will ever see the light of day again. As long as you have food and water available, ration it out to a given person by selecting the picture of a can or bottle under their portrait. Or instantly ration out both by clicking on the character's image. Of course, you might save your supplies for later, but a normal person can only survive four days without water. As to food, the longer you deny your people rations, the weaker they will get and might eventually get sick. Even if you manage to cure them, it will take you quite a few cans and a lot of time to replenish your strength. Alright. Well, you heard him. They're good for four days without water, so none of you guys get anything. Alright, since this is your first day down here, you'll need to get used to your surroundings. Believe me, ventilation hum can drive anyone nuts if you don't occupy yourself with something to do. Get some decent dress, and we'll carry on tomorrow. Nighty night. Well, thank you, journal. Alright, this is an interesting start. Now, I promise you guys, I'll, it, whenever I start playing this, I probably won't read everything in that voice because it takes a long time, but this first video is just kind of build up a tutorial. Try to get an understanding of the game. Let's see ya. Good morning, survivalist. Hope you slept well. Beds comfy enough? No? Well, better get used to it. 
since you'll be staying here for a while. We'll start today's activities with rationing, since you need to do it every day. But after that, we will move on to something else. Got your attention? Good! Now listen here, it's a risk you will run out of supplies eventually. Everything can be useful, but food and water are critical to your survival. If they're gone, you will be gone sooner than you can say corn dog. So, sometimes you will need to send people to the surface to bring in more supplies. You do this by preparing an expedition a day before it actually departs. Be careful though. Tired survivors can never be a part of an expedition. Today we will skip preparations and jump directly into sending someone brave outside. There is a deadly thing new bothering Mary Jane. Timmy is on his best behavior. How long will that last? Well, Timmy's a little troublemaker. Today has been a fine day for Dolores thus far, and Ted is fine. You guys don't need anything. It's only day two. Ooh, who shall we send outside? Well, I'm a big believer in little Timmy. We'll get little Timmy out there. I trust in you. Do me well, Timmy. This is a drill, so your explorer will come back after a little while, but in an event of a real apocalypse, they might be gone for a couple of days. In the meantime, you'll be faced with other problems that'll test you to your limits. I'm talking about making decisions that can break even the best of men's morale spine. We'll see them that day. You're made of. Or we'll see what clay you're made of. I cannot read. But first, ration your food and water. We don't want any more st anyone starving now, do we? Getting something to drink for Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. Nah. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Probably nothing. If there's one thing we need, it's water for Dolores. Oh, Ted wishes for a few drops of water. Well, how much water do we have? We got quite a bit of water. Uh, yeah, you know what? Go for it. Water for everyone. I'm an army man, so I don't know a second thing about imagination, but you could probably use yours now. Picture the scenario. You come across your kid's hamster, who has in a bizarre way found its way to the shelter. The kids are obviously going to love it, and so will you. There's nothing better than food that comes to you on its own. Now it's up to you to your cook him. Yes. It was Timmy's hamster, okay? Timmy's not here. He's not gonna detest us. But I feel this is kinda messed up for, you know, a test run. Like, literally, we just killed the hamster, and there's literally really no atomic blast out there. Good choice. Everyone had a bite and fresh meat will not be easy to come by in the days ahead. Best to take any chance you can get to eat. Believe me, you will find yourself and your family in much more dire circumstances than this. And there won't be a hamster around to save your ass. Wow. Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not saying it out loud. Good. Dolores is quite calm given the situation. Alright. This morning has been calm enough for Ted, and he is doing well. Sweet. You might be faced with a decision that require you to use your equipment. However, sometimes you might find you don't have the one item that was supposed to save the day. So make you scavenge the right supplies before the blast. Keep in mind, every item can be used for something. What do you want to do today? Clean a rifle? Listen to the radio? Or maybe play Shadow Bunnies using your flashlight? We gotta use the radio. We gotta get saved. Ain't nobody got time for games. Oh, little Timmy! Little Timmy doesn't look okay. What did you do to little Timmy up there? I know there's nothing going on out there for real. Oh boy. The radio is critical to establishing communications with the U.S. Army as well as for listening out for any trouble that might be headed your way. If you get lucky, maybe you'll catch some music too. Good news, everyone. The expedition is back. 
There's a fly! Never mind. I can get the fly. The expedition is back. Sometimes they'll return with extra supplies, sometimes they won't. Other times they'll come back with a nasty injury or even radiation sickness. Believe me, you will... Well, believe me, you don't want to get those. I hear glowing in the dark isn't as fun as it sounds. This time, your explorer was hurt, but they will recover after a proper use of a first aid kit. You can use one during rationing. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Why were you afraid? He was literally upstairs being safe in the house, or at least we thought, until Sergeant McDouche beat him up. How dare you beat up a kid? Atomic wastelands are hostile by definition, but there are some creatures that survive everything throughout them, even nuclear bombs. One of them was a monkey who seemed like it's been through a lot, and yet... It was very lively and more than happy to accompany on our expedition. While we explored one of the streets, our monkey companion ran away, only to come back moments later carrying a can of food. It couldn't open it itself, but it was happy to share it with us. Sweet! We got two soups. Now, if only this world had anything but soups. At one point during our expedition, the monkey started making weird sounds and digging in front of us with a stick. A quick investigation revealed a few bottles of water. No one even tried to open them. The same couldn't be said about those bottles of booze lying next to them. Alright, we got to one bottle. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. Timmy should eat something. Timmy fell sick. Timmy got hurt. Timmy is really tired. That's life for you, Timmy. Get used to it. Life is up for all of us right now. But Dolores is in a good mood today. We hope it'll stay this way. There's nothing going on with that. Nothing new anyway. Alright, so this is why we got the hell kit. We'll go ahead. Timmy needs everything because he's selfish. You need at least one alive adult to keep going. If you send your only survivor to the surface, you won't know what's happening in your bunker until they come back. And when they do, your shelter may already belong to someone else. A decent padlock may protect it, but not for long. This was a busy day. Take your time and get some sleep. If you made it this far, you're doing great and have a chance of getting out of this foxhole. Hopefully soon, but don't quote me on that. Okay. What's that noise? Alright. We've only just sent someone outside, but let's get another go today, shall we? The first time we were only asked to pick up one lucky ba- One brave volunteer to save the day. This time, you will also get a chance to equip your explorer with some useful gear. Feed your troops, and I'll see you at the shelter entrance. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Tim is very hungry. Tim was cured. Tim is healed up. That's good. There has to be some water left. Laura should get it. Ted needs water to survive. You're hungry. You two need water, but it's not dire yet. So I'm going to send out her. Because from what I hear, she's pretty good. Um, You know what? There you go. Pack your bags. Go. Let's see what she comes back with. I don't know what she's going to come back with, but hopefully it's something good. Morning, people. You're probably asking, there's another fly. Did, did I get it? I got it. Ah. You're probably asking yourself one simple question. What's the point of sitting in this atomic shelter? What? Stupid fly. Why don't I just leave? Well, leaving is a death sentence. If the radioactive sickness doesn't kill you, then just giant scorpions will. You can trust me on that. Your one chance is our boys arriving to rescue you. So every good citizen needs to do one thing. Seek contact with the US military and wait for re rescue. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Yep, gave her a suitcase. That's all she needs. Tim's very hungry still. Laura's would really love to eat something. Would not survive any longer. Dad looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs a drink now. Okay. So, I'll give you two water. And you will get a soup. 
No, 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 the rescue ain't coming today, but we'll come get you eventually. You need to keep your radio operational and be ready to venture into the waste. However, you also need to be careful. It might not be only our soldiers out there. There could be badness, of course. Commies, just imagine what will happen if the Reds discover you. So let us agree to the rules for this drill. You only open the door if someone knocks two times. Am I clear? Two knocks. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, she's back. Did, did, did you bring anything? You lost a suitcase. You need to remember that some days will be very intense. A lot of things will happen that you will need to prepare for. And that's why any day that gives you a break is a blessing. You need to make sure you make the most of it. Eat, drink, relax. While thinking about those cummy bastards, you don't have comfy bunkers like you. That thought always gets me through the day. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter for the soap. I understand that this is supposed to be the drill sergeant, and I completely changed the voice, but this is his voice from now on. I don't like it too much. When we reached our local police station, we were surprised to find it staffed by police officers. That's an admirable call of duty right there. Well, no crap. They're still working. The atomic warfare has not happened yet. We couldn't say we knew any of them, but they had uniforms and badges, so surely they are of the law of this part of the wasteland. It seems like they started writing it down for everyone to see. The exterior station walls are covered with the same inspiring writings, like New Order and the World is Ours. The policemen were quite nervous while we were around. After a short chat, they gave us some food, then told us to go away and never mention that we saw to anyone. Huh. They had plenty of water in their stash. They were acting very nervously and immediately consented to sharing when they asked, and they all started exercising. Damn it! We really like that suitcase. Well, it's gone now. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Mary Jane could use some food. Timmy needs water. Dolores, food. Ted, food. Okay. You know what? We got so much food. Wait, who needed water? Timmy. Okay. You get soup. You get soup. You get soup. And you get water. Love it. As long as you keep your shelters stocked and remain cautious, you should be okay. However, every choice you make may come back to bite you on the ass. Even after a few days or weeks, consider your options carefully. This is the thrill, but if the nukes start dropping, it'll be a totally different story. I know, his accent's going everywhere right now. Timmy, liven up. If I were you, I'd check the door. Our extraction team might be coming for you any day now, but be careful. This is a post-apocalyptic scenario, and you never know what's coming. Mary Jane seems fine. Okay, Timmy's okay. Dolores says no. You just ate yesterday. I fed you both. You're lucky we have so much soup. Someone at the door. You can hear several knocks. If you listen closely, you can make out the sequence of three knocks. Do you open the door? No. He said two knocks. I would not open the door. Screw you, commies. Good call. That wasn't the knock you were waiting for. Cautious at all times. Remember that. Be cautious. Apply yourself. Maybe you and your family will be just fine, or at least most of you. What is what Mary Jean needs most? Mm, Timmy's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna give you all water. 
That way we're kind of all it. As you were counting a machine of sheep in your head, another series of knocks broke your concentration. Someone was really hammering on your door and probably not taking no for an answer. Two knocks, two knocks, a pattern keeps repeating. Yes, that's that's a pattern. Were we saved? <gasps> the end! Good job, you're safe and sound with our brave soldiers. And now we can all have some apple pie. You deserve it. You can now go back to your lovely house and continue your idyllic lives. If any atomic troubles come your way, you know what to do and how to save yourself. I do hope it never comes to this, but if it does, good luck. See you when all this blows over. We held out for 11 days. Sweet. Alright, well that was 60 seconds, that was the tutorial, now that took a long time, so I'm going to cut the video right here, the next time I play this, which should be uploaded tomorrow, because like I said, I'm going to just focus on this game for a while, until I get sick of it and then want to play another game. Which I've been playing Division and stuff, I might try and upload something of that, but we'll, we'll see. Anyways. Next time we're gonna go into here. We're gonna we're gonna try some of these versions here. Now you have three different game types. You have Apocalypse, Scavenge, and Survival. Apocalypse is a whole ordeal. Scavenge and Survival, it's like you either go in and see how much supplies you can scavenge in the time, or you survive and it just gives you a set amount of items. So we'll see what we'll do here. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button, follow me on, on Facebook, subscribe to me, do whatever you want, whatever feels right to you. Anyways, until next time you guys, see ya.